Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time to unload gas kiln number two for 2020, so let's go. All right, everybody, I hope you're doing well today. It is time to unload gas kiln number two, and uh, hopefully you can hear me well today because it's pretty windy, it's a little chilly, and uh, I got my windscreen on the microphone, so hopefully you can hear me and the wind's not too bad. Uh, hopefully you like my brand new shirt. I bought it, I saw it in the store, and I was like, I'm buying that for my next YouTube video. And well, it's a t-shirt, and it's a little chilly here, so I'm wearing a thermal underneath it, but I was gonna wear it regardless, so anyway. Uh, and I'm going to get to this because I got chastised in my last video in the comments about taking too long to get started. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just taking, uh, if you want to watch, you're here watching. And if you don't, you're already gone and you hit the dislike button. Either way, I'm cool. Uh, glad you're here if you are here and I appreciate you. So here we go. We're going to unload and talk about the pieces that are in here. I did some tests and I'm very excited. I haven't peeked other than just looking through this hole without a light and it's pretty much impossible to see anything. So I got some brand new things I tested and that's always exciting and fun, unloading a kiln, getting to see brand new things that you've tested, uh, things that I have a pretty good idea how they're gonna turn out and some that I don't. So uh, we're gonna find out, let's go. Cool. See how hot it is. Looking pots, I tell you. Woo! Nothing I see is bad so far. Pots are a little warm still on the top, so I'm gonna grab some, uh, grab my gloves to grab those pots. It's always a better idea to wait till it completely cools down to unload it, but if they're ever hot, I tell you a good thing to invest in is a pair of, of gloves. Not a sponsor, by the way, but uh, they got little sticky pads on them and they uh, they don't get hot when you grab the stuff. So it's so always a good thing. I'm gonna grab the ones off the top and then the shelves. And then by the time we get midway, they're gonna be just fine. I won't have to use the glove. All right, so I've got a ton of coffee mugs in here, probably over a hundred coffee mugs in this one load because I was already running out and I'm like, well, I need to make a bunch. My wife's like, just fill the whole thing up with coffee mugs. I'm like, I just about did. So, <laughs> All right, we got some tumblers in red and in purple. Those look wonderful as always. That red is something else. I love it. I love how I got the uh, the color to stop right, you know, to be in the top half and then just those couple drips in the bottom. Wow, that one's getting a little warm underneath my arm. So we're gonna put these on boards because they're so they're pretty warm. I got a bunch of small vases in here, some vases that I made that uh, uh, have those tall skinny necks on them. Oh, look at that. Goodness gracious. All right, I'm gonna stand back here so I can know where the uh, where the camera's looking at this. Look at that. I tried something new. What I did is this is a combination of two different glazes. And what I did is I, as I, uh, I, I dipped the top glaze, but then I put a little extra on and I did it uneven so that I would hopefully get some of these uneven drips like that you see in that so it gets more lively oh man looks good we got a guest everybody y'all don't know danielle she hasn't been in any videos other than well killing unloading but she didn't say anything so she told me the other day that if she was in the video, I'd get more views, so we'll see. 
He ain't saying it. That's something new I tried. I think I need to do a little bit more of that, like I said, on that other one where I did that, uh, the glaze on the bottom uneven, and then I'll give that uh, a little bit more lively as far as the uh, shape of that. But either way, that's still cool. Look at that. Woo. Try a couple more red and blue. <laughs> Dotted tumblers, huh? It's okay. They look good inside. I did some more where I sprayed the uh, the blue glaze on so I could get it more lively. So I get that. I just gotta get these lids off. blue and purple that gets in the top of the kiln. The rutile blue in the bottom gets real light and in the top gets like deep. Oh man, look at that. Mm -hmm. Christmas morning. Woo! Oh my gosh. I gotta do some more of that. Look at this. I did this one. I didn't do the ash on the bottom. I just dipped it in red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. All right, so here's one. You can see the difference. This one, I dipped that bottom glaze and I didn't add the extra. So you can see how more even that is, which is still fine, but it looks better where it's varied, I think. That's a cool little pot. Uh, about to drop it. <laughs> All right, coffee mug. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that. Woo! Man alive. Mm. There's a cup I, I didn't even know. I, I, this one was left over from the last time I fired and I didn't it didn't fit in. But there's another one with that. Oh my gosh. That halo around there. That is stinking sweet. Holy cow. Mm.
got some orders in here too. And I think, I see the first one. Solid red. Oh my god. More little bases. See how the difference in color of that root teal blue. I could have dipped that one thicker, uh, but also just in the lower down in the kiln. Here's something else I tested. This was my white slip underneath the root heel. It's definitely not exactly what I was thinking. I might have to dip the root heel a little thinner, but it still looks cool. one of the orders. Came out looking nice. All right, so I tried some turtle mugs with the root heel blue over it. So the turtle doesn't, definitely doesn't stand out as much, but I, I think I can work on that and get that. Still cool, look at that. Just adds a whole nother dimension of coolness. Dimension of coolness, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so there's one thing that didn't turn out good. I tried some white slip underneath the purple and you can barely even see that it's under there. But I tested it. I tried not dipping my uh, colors down so far so I could get more of that ash glaze on the bottom on some of these. I think I like that better. Gives you the difference in top and bottom. Also put a little bit more of the uh, bottom glaze on the inside so you get more drips down inside. Oh wow. So this one I did, I did different lines of the blue and the red. <laughs> Alternating lines, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Horizontal lines. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> it's getting later in the day and the sun's starting to come back through here. So, apologize if the light looks weird. some uh, blue peacock cereal bowls. I did some tests for a, uh, I've got a potential, uh, well I actually got a wholesale order, uh, but they wanted to look at some samples of colors. These is a company that's gonna be pouring candles in these and selling them as a little votive candle holder but they pour the candle inside. So I tried some different combinations. Give them options. Some more of the rutile with the white slip underneath it. Yeah. 
is amazing. I tried one with the uh, red with the white slip under it. And you can't really, you can see it a little bit, but not enough that I would need to do that, I don't think, in the future. I don't know. This looks really cool right there. Had an order for some purple mugs. And that one is cool. Purple. Blue. Purple. Blue. <laughs> That's cool. There's a couple more I tested. That had the white slip. Oof. Golly, it's bright. Okay, we're gonna try this for showing you pictures because <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's try this one. Let's hold it like right here. Can you see that? Yeah, okay, it's better. Still bright. Still got sun on it. Gosh. Who would ever think that the sun would be such a pain? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> this side, red. This side, not. This world. It got oxidized in that one little spot. It's kind of wild looking. <laughs> There's another wild one. Look at that. Red. <laughs> Partially red. That's crazy. Crazy. You can see the white slip where it didn't go right. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that glass uh, didn't get reduction either because it doesn't have any red in it. It's a cool piece. In case anybody's wondering, there's my cones. That's an 012 that's a puddle there. That's where I start my reduction. That's a 10 and 11. The 10 kind of fell out of its place, but so I fired pretty hot. But I like it. Red peacock butter. Another mug with the white slip. All right, guys, it's empty and uh, that sun is bright, so I'm trying to duck behind this <laughs> post so that I can say goodbye. So, anyway, uh, I'll tell you what, I was super excited about this kiln load. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I love what came out and uh, I was just jacked to unload it and uh, I'm glad things turned out the way they did. So anyway, thank you guys as always for being here and I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for all your support as always and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.